One, use your buff, use your buff, use your buff, and get ready for a counter push in three, two, one, push down, push down, push down! All in, boys, all in, come on, at the choke point! Hello everyone and welcome to the website channel. Today with a very special topic like always. <laughs> no, um, the PvP comes. For example, the most important thing in fights in Mortal Online is to communicate in a certain language or at least to communicate efficiently and short. And no, that is not my character. I got the footage from a friend of mine, but I at least was present in the comms. And what I can tell you is um, there is not much change compared from Mortal Online 1 to Mortal Online 2 to the battle communication communications is still sometimes a little bit chaos um, sometimes it's very structured and organized and it depends on how long have you uh, practiced with your group i mean here just for example a friend of mine and a few people are less than the opponent but they can outplay them if they are smart with their communications i mean you could also be the the pvp master king that no one kills you in any way but for just the normal people like me um like 99 percent of the of the mortal population is not a pvp champion but some are good some are a little bit worse but the main thing is if you communicate right in your group then you can nearly beat fa fucking everything if you communicate it right i mean just a short example i mean i can't blow the tactics of my friends here but that doesn't matter anyway because because everyone needs to find uh, their style Hello of communication. Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolf but side channel. But from the old model on then one days, communicating was also a key essence of PvP of course. For example, if you are a mage in the backline and you're calling for peel, and b b peel means um, if, if you need help because you are getting directly attacked from someone or someone um, really trying to focus you and kill you or some people trying to focus you and kill you then you're calling for peel and if uh, peel up um, and if someone says peel for example one or two guys that are dedicated before before you even run out of the city you you dedicate people to the mages to the hybrids or to the people that need help if they need help then these people are the ones that are in the front line and just like if the if the mage calls for peel then you're fucking go back and help them immediately stop whatever the fuck you're doing but the key essence of pvp conversations is not like i'm hitting him yeah i'm hitting that or whatever stuff that is completely unnecessary information even stuff like stuff like i dealt so much damage i dealt uh, this um i hit it this guy uh, whatever the fuck you are talking just fucking stop the only talk the only talk doing a real pvp fight be be between two groups just for example if you I don't know, five people, then you don't need this communication stuff. No one needs that. But 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 for 10 people and up, it's getting a little bit more complicated. And short, valuable information that the other person can use is vital. And just a short thing. For example, in, in general, Immortal Online 1, you have half HP bar or whatever shit. You are saying your name and heal. And that's it. So if you have multiple mages, multiple healers that are dedicated healers. And if you would say, for example, Spetsnard heal then three three healers would would definitely stop what they are doing and would watch for Spessna to heal that is inefficient and that is shit so so actually if you go pvp roaming you more or less clearing first who heals who in what situation for example if i say if i'm the mage and i got i i have to say spetsnaz peel for example then I have trouble, I can't heal. Then the second second mage knows, okay, Spessnard got in trouble if, if, if uh, for example, player A, to B and C calling for heal, then I need to heal them as well. But I mean, that is only the case if you're really, really preparing hardcore before you go PvP roaming. But most people don't do that because, yeah, it's fucking annoying. And for example, if you have a new one new one in the group and stuff like that, it can, it can be a little bit confusing. So so the, the more you play as a, as, a, as a group together, the more the more this stuff can be implemented and the more you're using your time in a fight efficiently the the, the more likely you win even if you are fucking outnumbered because if for example you're fighting you're fighting with your five people a group of 10 people just for example and the 10 people have three healers and stuff like that and someone or someone there is calling his name and heal then three healers will focus on healing that person instead of doing something efficient in the fight i mean just for example two healers would be enough even one healer would be enough to heal him maybe I mean, it's always situational, but I think you get what I mean. I mean, some PvP fights like this, for example, look a little bit like chaos, but nearly nearly 85% of the people know what they are doing. I mean, in most fights, you have a shot caller to to, to really to really uh, get to get the focus on, on the right stuff, and only the people that are in the focus group to focus something. Some other people are taking care of the other shit. Sure, it always depends on the size of your group, but on a certain size, like, for example, maybe six, seven eight people 
you can have you can have dedicated roles and dedicated stuff in dedicated situations for example if you're having we have a pvp training every week uh, every week but just for example if you train every week some different situations that could happen then also your communication while pvping is much better but now to the fucking to the fucking most important rule of everything everything that relates to pvp if you can't fucking shut your mouth then don't play if you are with 30 people on the channel and and you don't have crisp on and and and, 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 and someone is just annoying eating chips or whatever shit whatever shit happens whatever little little fuck happens no just fucking no make, make a push to talk button but don't annoy everyone else this the second thing is also unnecessary information if you are the person that is in the PvP fight and just calling out shit all the time, first no problem. I mean, everyone starts somewhere, but but the the the, the main thing is like if you're doing if you if you are in a PvP fight with a group, only drop information that is valuable. And first off, communicate with your group what is valuable information and what is not valuable information. Just for example, if someone's saying this or this character, or this or this enemy is low, for example, status location description name for example low west chronite armor player name shot caller knows where who for example in a foot fight the hybrids know where who how should i say it? The, the player with the more speed knows where and for example the more speedy fighters will immediately run there but only the ones that were dedicated to do that for example preparation is everything so for example if, if you have a gr group of 10 people then 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 you have uh, for example for different commands only a few will react and a few will just fucking ignore that and just for example for the shot caller and maybe maybe even for the for the organizer at the at the pvp fight or stuff like that or maybe maybe someone taking the lead or the control or stuff like that maybe something like the priority speaker option from discord is a good idea also i can't mention it enough but a huge problem of many, many people, even even players that are here for half a year or, or whatever. Um, if you, if you, for example, if you are the the shot caller, or if you are in command, or if you are leading a small group or a squad, a, pe a few people, everyone is fighting, and you're just saying, for example, retreat, retreat, retreat. That has a different impact if I if I just uh, saying retreat. The chance is pretty high that no one will do that. But if you, th th this sounds pretty stupid, but it worked in Mortal Online one every time. If you just, for example, repeat your stuff four or five times, it's f it's sometimes fucking annoying, but it's necessary that everyone is getting the message. And if you're just, for example, uh, attempting a push, for example, you're in a dungeon with your 20 people, and uh, on the other side are also 20 people, maybe, I don't know, and, and uh, there's, a, there's a small entrance and stuff like that, and you want to push in there. You, you, no, you don't just say three, two, one, push. So you say push, 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 push. But before that, please check your microphone settings that you don't that you that you don't uh, ruin the eardrums of your comrades. That everyone, even the drunk fucking Spetsnaz, knows what he had to do. But in some situations, it's really necessary for the shot caller or the organizer or more or less the the the, the guy that has the lead in the PvP fight to just fucking motivate your own group and handle it like that. For example, I I remember a very good shot caller. He's called Chief Tain, and he's uh, with, with his voice. With his voice, you have instantly adrenaline pumping. You know it's fucking serious. You concentrate, and that leads actually to success. But here comes the point: if you have a group that is that is uh, uh, regularly training together and stuff like that, and regularly killing other people out there, then you don't need that. You really don't don't need that. If you have if you have a really really good group that is playing very well together you don't need such a shit but the thing is um if if, if it's over a certain uh, certain threshold just for example over like 15 people over like 20 people then then it's getting fucking crazy i mean even 20 30 can be handled normally but 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 if it's too much you you really have to do it like chieftain like for example just screaming push in there and and screaming the commands and repeating the commands over and over and over again let's Only just watch an example all right, at? hold the checkpoint. Hold the checkpoint. They're, they're running up checkpoint on the right side. Range fired down. Melee, just hold the checkpoint. We're not pushed till Chief gets back. Hold the line. Hold the line. There's a white bear running up. Cute little bear. Kill the white bear. No, 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 Kill no, the bear. No, Kill, no, the, no. Kill, the, bear. Kill the, bear. the bear. Nice. No, nice. not the bear. Hold the checkpoint again. All right, melee on me. Stop melee on me. You see the banner? Let's do this, boys. All right, let's fucking do this. On Chief, them boys. All right, let's fucking do this. Three, two. One, let's get this fucking dub! Uh, Bigarino, half on the left. Sword user. Just keep swinging. They're fucking folding, boys. 
Exterminator half down the middle. Nice patch on the right hand side. Dementia half on the right. Just keep swinging, boys. They're dying. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Peel for each other. Kusha half, Kusha half. Let's pull back. There we go. Tom Cruise left side. Scorpio needs to peel on the left side. All right, dwarfs, dwarfs, dwarfs. Get together, get together on the front. Three, two, one. Use your buff, use your buff, use your buff. And get ready for a counter push it. Three, two, one. Push down, push down, push down. All in, boys. All in. Come on, on the choke point. Look at dress, look at dress on the left side. Get that damage out, boys. Get that damage out. Forward, forward. Dead. Assassin, pull out that weapon. Let's start swinging. Look to the left. Look to the left. They're EQing. Careful. Need heels in the back. Need, in the back. Need heels in the back. Pepper Kirino on the left. Push. Hold still. All right. Let's reset. Let's reset. Let's reset here. Let's reset here. Let's calm down. Everybody, stand up. Everybody here. Everybody, relax. If you're a dwarf, be in the front, please. All right. Let's get ready for a counter push in about five. Okay. Everybody, relax. Stand up. Everybody in the right back. Everybody in the right back line. Get ready to push. Get ready to push in three, two, one. Push now. Push now. Push now. Push now. Deep. I want you deep in their mages. They're at the deep. stairs. They're at the stairs. Deep. Push them now, boys. Deep. Do not stop. Look to the left. Look to the left. There's two of them singled out. Left. Demisha half. On the left. Demisha malaria user. Jumping up and down. One hit. Knight Rider. You think in our back line? No. All right, them. Come up. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Everybody, come up. To the stairs. To the stairs. To the stairs. Let's go. Let's go. To the fucking stairs. Same deal. If you have a buff, if you have an AOE buff, I want you in the front line and I want you to pop in the next minute here. Hold it. Hold it. Everybody stand there. Everybody ready? All right, boys. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Let's get this now. Push, 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 push now. Push. Everyone push. Together! And that was just an awesome example on how to lead a group. A big group, of course, for smaller groups, it's a lot different. But just in general, there is no right way to communicate with your group. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, just just, just talk with, with, the, with the people you're fighting with and just maybe prepare a little bit for a fight on who does what, who has what role, what what, what comments, uh, 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 commands are there. And, and and practice that maybe a little and then and then you're you are good to go Th this was just a little bit final conclusion here maybe at least i hope it helped a little bit so please leave your opinion on how do you do that in your group how do you do that how you organize kind of fights like that for example like for 10 people for 20 people or stuff like that or maybe even for big groups uh, how would you organize that, uh, the com communication, I mean? So special thanks to all these supporters, of course. Carmel, Professor Olu, Cario, Anonymous, Love of Gaming, Ronus, Patanax, Mipcolor, Bulldog, Kanopo, you, and all the others, of course. And yeah, the, the link of the example video is also in the description. That was an actual event that got crashed. Anyway, never forget to communicate hard. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 party hard. And uh, see you all next time. Goodbye.